Okay, hello there guys. Welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. This tutorial we are going to see how to work with integers. Now, the last tutorial we saw how to define string variables. Basically what we did is this. We wrote the data type first, which is string, and then the, the variable. Okay, A, so something like that. Now similarly, when we are defining integers, we just write int A. Okay, and you could do an assignment at the same time, so int a equal 10, int b semicolon, and int uh, c, e, uh, sorry, b equal 20, and uh, int c equal a multiplied by b. Okay, so we did a number of things here, uh, definitions and assignments and multiplication, and finally when we want to display a result, we could just say system.console.writeline, and we display c, and system.console.readline, in order to keep the screen there, there's a semicolon, ok, so now, uh, if we run this, we get what, we get 200, wonderful, Center. Okay, so now uh, let us change this a little bit. Let's say you want to make a multiplication program. It will ask you for x and y, multiply x by y, and display the result. So how do you do that? First we need to define x and y in order to make the program remember them. So int x and y. Next we want to read x and y from screen. So First, we will display a friendly message. Uh, system council write uh, enter the value of x. What's wrong with me? Okay, okay. So now we display the friendly message. So now we read x. So x equals now. How do you read from the screen? Basically, the value you read is a string. It needs to be converted into a integer. To do that, you write int dot parse. But this means that uh, I want to parse this string as an integer. Okay. So what we uh, say here is system console read line. Semicolon. So we perform the reading of x. Similarly, we do the same thing for y. So we have system dot console uh, uh, dot write. Now, one of the things you I forgot to tell you in C sharps is that the language is case sensitive, which uh, means is a, a variable uh, that is written as a small x is different from a variable that is written as capital X. So you can have two variables named X, one is capital one is small, uh, and uh, each one is treated differently. Okay, so if you write X like this, or let's say Y, okay, uh, equal int dot parse uh, system also read line. Okay, if I make this as a capital Y, uh, you see that it is triggering an error because it doesn't know what the variable is, what y is. You need to define it. So this is a small y. Now the error is fixed. Okay, so now we we have had, uh, performed reading x and y. We need to calculate the result of multiplication, which is c. So this is very easy. z equal x multiplied by y. Okay, and we want to display the result. So we would say system console write line uh, okay the result is okay and you put this sign and c in semicolon okay uh, so this is the program it's very straightforward so let us try it out and make sure it works so let's say the value of x sorry uh, 10 y 20 so 10 multiplied by 20 is 200. Let us run this again. So let's say 5 by 2. This is 10. And uh, minus 3 multiplied by 9. Um, let's say minus 27. Okay. So far, this is very easy, very straightforward. 
what if you want to display uh, you know the numbers themselves so basically we're going to change this we will make it like this x plus the x sign plus y plus equals plus z okay it's going to be something like this okay so let us run this again sorry not sure why this one shifts all the time but anyway so 9 by 2 so you can see 9 by 2 equal 18 okay so now uh, it's better I suppose so I do okay so you get this one now what uh, uh, sorry uh, that's a bug. Never mind. Uh, what if we want to enter a very big number? So let us try this out. Okay, multiply. Okay, and you get what? You get an overflow exception. Okay, and why is that? Well, because there's a limit for the value that an integer can store. In order to know what that value is, you can actually display it or check check on that. So, for example, uh, I'm gonna uh, keep this here. I'm gonna say uh, okay, max value. Wait a second. Then say max value is okay, and now I'm gonna display the maximum value. How do I know or get the exact max value of an integer? You just say int dot max value. Okay, this will get you the maximum value of an integer. Okay, let's now we close this bracket. And so now you at least have a message telling the user what's the maximum value. So you can see now this is the maximum value okay so this is the first value this is the second value and uh, now you we don't get an error because we at least know what the maximum value is what if a person wants to check what is the minimum value well similar to max value you have you have a min value actually if you want to see all the methods you just put a dot uh, uh, sorry you, you see these, the one, uh, the gray uh, rectangles, these represent constants, and the uh, other ones represent met methods. Uh, for now, uh, this is the minimum value. Let's check it out. And you can see this is the, minim uh, the minimum value, but my message is wrong. So basically, I need to change this and say min value. Okay, because here this is min, now this is min. Okay. And uh, yeah, now it's going to be correct. So this is the min value. Now, these are some of the limitations we have. What other limitations do we have when using integers? We are we should be aware of. Well, if you try to do something like this, three point five. Okay, and we get an error. The string was not in the correct format, and the reason for that is this is an integer. It doesn't accept floating point numbers. And for example, let me show you this. If we say here x equal three semicolon, you don't see any error because it get compiled correctly. Three here is an integer, but if we say three point oh. Okay, you get an error. It is exactly the same number, but when the compiler sees point O, it understands that this is not an integer 3. This is a floating point number whose value is a 3. There is a difference in the internal representation inside the program. So these are not the same. And because x is an integer, it cannot store a floating point number. You need to cast the value 
into an integer, like for example doing something like this. This is called casting, which allows you to convert a value from one data type to another. Okay, now what this means when the compiler sees this, it will remove the floating point part of the number and it treats it like this. So the statement will be something like this. Okay? Yeah, so the point of all what I've said is uh, to keep in mind that integers can only store integers. Now, somebody might ask, what if I am dividing numbers and the result is not an integer? Well, we will convert this program and see what happens. So here, instead of multiplication, we will make it a division. So we divide this and we put the division sign here. Let's run this. So let's say 10 divided by 2, we get 5. This is correct. Now, what if we say, sorry, 10 divided by 3? Well, it says the result is a 3. But it is not because the result is uh, should be 3.333333 and so on, right? Uh, the reason for that, why the floating point part is missing, is again because this is an integer, okay? And integer cannot store floating point number. So when the compiler sees that you are uh, dividing two integers. After performing the division, any floating point part get uh, removed so that you only end up with an integer. Okay? Just keep this in mind. So, uh, these are basically the limitations of an integer the min value, max value, and uh, the ability to store integer numbers only not floating point. So keep this in mind. Uh, the rest of things are very straightforward, uh, right? So we could do assignment, uh, multiplication, division, subtraction, addition, whatever. Yeah. So now let's have another example. And in this simple example, we will, uh, our program will be used to, let's say, uh, calculate your age in days. Okay? So here, we are going to say uh, int age1 followed by h2, so call it system console write, enter your age in years, sorry about that, okay, and h1 equal int dot parse system console read line semicolon. Now what we need to say is the or what we need to do is calculate your age in days. So h2 equal h1 multiplied sorry by 365 because every year is just 365 days. So yeah this is an estimation not exact number but it will do. So system console right line your age in days is about let us just put the sign and what do we need to do? We say h2 close that and semicolon. Okay? Very straightforward. Read on this. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, and uh, yeah. So, what's your age in years? Let's say 10 years. You get, uh, yeah. Uh, there's your age in days. If you say, for example, your age is about 30, you get something like that. So, it's very straightforward. As you can see, it's not that difficult to do. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, that's all for today. We have seen how to work with integers.